Hey guys, what's up? It's Milm here with another Xcode tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on UI Activity Indicator Windows. And if you don't know what they are, they're the little spinny things that tell the user that the view is loading. And they're mainly used with UI web views. So after this tutorial, I'm going to be doing another one teaching you how to use it with the web views. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little demo here of what I'm, we're going to be making. Um, so as you can see, as the view loads, there's the spinny thing in the middle, the activity indicator window, and after five seconds, it disappears. Um, obviously, with the web view, after the web view loads, it will disappear, and I'll teach you how to do that. But for now, I'm just going to teach you how to make what I just made. Um, so I'm going to make a new Xcode project. Uh, I'm going to call it, well, view-based for iPhone will be fine. And I'm going to call it activity view. Uh-huh. And I'm going to make this bigger because we don't need anything or any resources. Go into the classes dot h and we need one outlet for the activity indicator and a timer. So go inside here and we'll go IV outlet UI activity, there you go, indicator view, space star and I'm going to call this activity like that. And now we need the timer. So that's going to be NS timer star timer. Um, so now this timer here is just so after the time is up, uh, the activity indicator view will disappear and s stop animating. Um, normally we wouldn't need this timer, but you know for now we will. Uh, so go into the dot m, and uh, we need to find the view did load method. So ungreen that, and uh, go in there above the super view did load, and uh, we're going to type open square bracket activity. Act Activity, can't spell, <laughs> activity start animating, close the square brackets and semicolon, and then we're going to set up our timer. Um, so to do that, you just go timer, space equals space, ns timer, schedule timer with time interval there, like that. Uh, and that's going to be, I don't know, we can have, we'll have five seconds for that one. So that's the second, that's what this means. Uh, we can delete this invocation because we don't need that. I'm going to put target self and then we're going to go selector at selector like that. Uh, did that wrong. At selector, no, not that. <laughs> at selector, there we go. And this one's going to be awake from nib. Uh, and we'll make that method in a minute. And the next one's going to be user info info damn it <laughs> definitely can't spell today info colon and then that can be nil and uh, we don't want it to repeat so that's going to be no and end the bracket there and semicolon um, so what this is doing in the view did load it's telling our activity window to start animating ie start spinning and then it's setting up our timer so it's giving it a timer then it's giving it an interval so how long it will take so that's five then it's giving it itself a target. Then it's going, what do I do, or the selector, what do I do when I've finished, when my time is up? And that's going to call the method awake from nib, which we're going to make in a minute. Uh, and it doesn't repeat, and the user info is going to be nil. Um, so that's that for the view did load. Now we need to go and make our awake from nib. So if we open uh, hyphen, open parentheses, void, close parentheses, awake from nib, like that, uh, open the two curly brackets, and in here we're just going to go activity stop animating, end square bracket semicolon. Um, so that's all we need to do for the code. Now we can go into the resources, open our activity view nib, and uh, all we need for this is an activity indicator view, so drag that into the screen. I'm going to make that exactly center by pressing these two buttons here. Um, I'm also going to check this box here that says hide when stopped. You can also do this with code if you don't want to spend your time clicking these boxes. Um, but that basically means when it's stopped spinning or when the timer tells it to stop, it will hide rather than just stay there. Uh, so we'll select that. And uh, we'll have... Uh, now we'll have the large one because it's easier to see. Um, now we need to connect it up, so go to files owner and the connections and drag activity to activity and uh, save that and uh, now we can build and run and see our 
thingy my bobby spin and uh, here's the simulator and as you can see it's spinning and after five seconds it should disappear and uh, there you go it's disappeared now um, one more thing in my example I showed you that it had a, a, a kind of dark grey box around it so you could see it better um, and to do that we can go back into our view did load method and above the activity start animating we're going to put activity dot background color and it should auto complete space equals space open one square bracket UI color oops, and then it can be dark grey color uh, it can be any color you want so it can be cyan or blue or red but it looks a bit weird if it's any of those other colors so dark grey probably works best and if we build and run again and we can see that it's now got a dark grey box around it um, so there you go guys just a quick tutorial on activity windows and how you use them and how you can make them disappear and change their color and all stuff like that um, so as I said in my next tutorial I should be doing one for a web view so stay tuned for that link should appear over here on the tiger's face and uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my next video.